okay so in this video we will going to convert uh, binary numbers into decimal numbers so the very first thing to do for us is to know the steps so we just write here the steps okay so the steps are first uh, we multiply multiply so I just write first this step here the first step so multiply each digit of the binary number by its positional so we will be highlighting this one position or positional weight and then add up the results the number two Okay, so if any digit is zero, so its proportional weight is not to be taken into account. So let's try to use this step in an example. So we have here uh, an example. So we will be converting the binary number one, z one zero. The problem with our uh, pen one zero into its equivalent base 10 or binary uh, de decimal number so the first step is just review first the first step is to multiply each digit of the binary number by its pos positional weight so when you say positional weight the position of the digit in the number for example zero this one zero have your hand zero so this zero the its positional weight is zero the first one zero then the, the one is its positional weight is one then the uh, this another zero is the third three uh, the second is two and this one will be also our uh, divisional weight is three so we are going to apply the first step so we need to multiply each digit by its positional weight so we have here one times then because we are using base two so this will be two raised to the power so this is the first digit that we are that we are considering so this will be in the third positional weight so we have plus zero times two this will be two here so we have next one will be one so the positional weight is one okay two to the power of one plus zero times two to the power of zero okay so the next step is any digit if any digit is zero its positional weight is not to be taken into account because for example this one we have 1 times 10, uh, 1 times to the power of 3, that will be, this will be equal to 8. Let's just have this first, the uh, exponents, 
the value of the exponents. This will be 4 to the power of 1. This will be uh, 2. And this will be 1. Okay. So, we, if we are going to add up the result, so this will be 8. This will be 4 times 0. So, that will be 0. That's why if any digit is 0, its positional weight is not given into account because if you multiply 0 by a whole number, the answer will still be 0. So, plus 0. Plus, this is 1 times 2. This will be 2. Plus 0. So, we have... 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0, this will be equal to 10. And this now will be our equivalent decimal number. So that is how we are going to convert binary into decimal. So let's have another example. Okay. So we have here 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay. So, let's have first, using the step 1, so we will be multiplying its digit by its positional weight. So, let's count first how many digits this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, this is 8. So, because we are considering the first as the 0 positional weight, so our our highest positional weight will be 7. So let's just note that one. That the highest positional weight weight is equal is n minus 1. Wherein n is equal to the number of digits. So this will just be the shortcut in order for us to know what will be the first positional weight that we are going to consider how what is the highest positional weight that could be uh, achieved given the number of digits so for this one one two three four five six seven eight so we have n minus one so n minus one is equal to seven so our first digit here this one the digit to the left will have a positional weight of seven okay so let's have our answers we have one times 2 to the power of 7 plus another 1 times 2 to the power of 6 plus 1 times uh, 2 to the power of 5 then we have 0 so 0 times 2 to the power of 4 plus another 1 1 times 2 to the power of 3 then we have 0 times 2 to the power of 2 plus another 0 0 times 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 0. So this will be 2 to the power of 7. So let's grab our very high tech calculator. Okay, so let's just put our calculator over here. Okay, so we have 2 raised to the power of 7. So this will be equal to 128. Let's just use another color for this one. So we have this one. This is 128. Then 2 to the power of 6. Okay. 2 to the power of 6. We just edit this one here. Okay. This will be equal to 64. Okay. This is equal to 64. Then this will be 32. This will be 16. 8. 4, 2, and 1. So, let's have, let's first multiply each of them. So, we have 1 times 128, that will be 128, plus 1 times 64, that will be 64, 1 times 32, that will be 32, plus 0 times 16, that will be 0. 1 times 8, that will be 8, plus 0 times 4, that will be 0, plus uh, 0 times 2, that will be 0, plus 1 times 1, that will be 1. We we'll just count first how many terms does we have. So the number of terms here will be likely equal to the number of digits here. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so it is correct. So we will have... 
128 plus 64 plus 32. So we could neglect this one. Plus 8 plus 1. So let's get our calculator. So we have 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 1. Okay, so it's just a bit plus 1. So we have 233. So this will be equal to 233. So base 10. And this will be our answer. So if we are going to use our calculator, so if we are going to um, we're going to check our answer by using our calculator. So we just go to mode, then we go to base n. So that is the uh, number system uh, function for the calculator. Then we will go to bin. Then we will input our given number. So that is one 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 zero one zero zero one. We are going to press equals. So we have here the answer. So one 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 zero one zero zero one. So it is correct. If we are going to convert that one into decimal, so that will be equal to two hundred thirty-three. So we just press here the depth. So the decimal. So our answer is correct. Okay. So thank you for watching this video, and please do sus subscribe to this channel for more um um for more mathematics and engineering lesson and for always enjoy learning